Ooh, we're here back in Mass Effect 3. Updates. A lot of video texture mods for cutscenes has been now only installed. I thought I had it installed, it was not. No texture mods yet. Because I want to see how the <laughs> foreigners look first. Miranda, talk to me. Commander Shepard, it's been far too long. Mm. We live in interesting times. A little too interesting. I couldn't get anywhere near you when the Alliance had you locked up. <sighs> Relieved of duty. It was complicated. I'm sure it was. I'm surprised they didn't court-martial you. The Alliance isn't known for its flexibility. You are the rat. Doesn't matter now. Shepard, about Earth. The hair mod is installed at least and it looks good. Oh. Countless people lost their lives within minutes. The Reapers are everything we feared. They should have listened to you a long time ago. I'm sorry, Shepard. What about you? What brings you here? I need to talk to a few people. Like you. The Citadel is a good place to meet. For now. What's the Alliance's next move? We have a plan. It's a long shot. <laughs> Not surprising. Shepard? There's something I wanted to mention. What is it? I haven't heard from my sister, Oriana, for a while. I'm getting worried. Your sister? Yes. I don't want to overreact, but... Well, there's a lot going on. I thought we made sure she was safe. We did. It's probably nothing, but... I just know my father is involved. What happened? I don't know. Everything I had in place to make sure she was safe went dark. I'm so mad that you can't have more squad mates like especially Miranda and Samara and one Krogan at least, damn it, Mass Effect 3. Remake this game finally and make Mass Effect 3 a little bit better. More squad mates, we need more. Ah, oh, what can I do for you? What do you need from me? I appreciate the offer, Shepard, but you have your hands full. If I need a door or two kicked down, I know just who to call. But for now... I'll be fine. Okay. I understand. Well, bang, okay. I have to figure this out. <laughs> oh. Am I crazy? I looked up a multiple romance mod, but I think I only saw one for Mass Effect 2. Not for this game. Get on my squad. Damn it. I need biotic bars and overcharge on the same person. You will. Oh, more to talk, okay. If you're looking for a lead here, anyone associated with Cerberus will be hard to find. No question. But I'm owed a few favors. Someone here will give me a tip on Ariana. I heard a mouth click in her voice before she started the last sentence. I don't know if you heard it too. It's been a long time. What happened to you? I've been in hiding. Being on the run from just about everyone isn't as glamorous as it sounds. I didn't know. It's all right. I knew there would be repercussions to walking away from Cerberus. <laughs> no, I imagine. You're a dangerous enemy. I am. Never heard that before in Miranda's voice. Just like me, mouth clicks. It's wet mouth sounds that click slightly. <sniffs> Something like that. Not quite like that. Why do you think your father was involved in Oriana's disappearance? I kept careful tabs on my sister. I always knew where she was. For her to just vanish, it could only be him. After I hid her away, I still knew he'd stop at nothing to find her. She's all he has left. I have a hunch what happened, but I'll fill you in when I'm certain. Have you had any run-ins with the elusive man? Just once. He said it had been a pleasure to work with me, Oof. but he needed to contain the situation. Contain the situation? Sounds final. It nearly was. He doesn't take rejection well. No. Aww. He doesn't. Oh, that's all? Damn it. Okay. I've got to get back to it. And I should get out of sight. Be careful. No promises. Got onto my ship, damn it. The council called the 
orders. Yeah, don't do my ship. The same term once used by a disgraced Commander Shepard to refer to a theoretical enemy. What the fuck is wrong with you? I'm gonna find you and smack your head into the floor for saying it like that. I mean, everybody should know by now they exist, right? They're all over the goddamn galaxy. There are no reapers that are full of floor steps. The floor steps. What are you? Dr. Bison Slap. I need to see Turians so I know if the Turian mod I installed this. Please select the destination. BS or not. Purgatory, not gonna talk to her. Areas That's... tagged of interest to you are highlighted on the elevator menu. Where I'm at, right? Is that not where I'm at? No. Need to find Corians. Now arriving at Docking Bay E24. Emergency civilian housing. You can't. Ah. Yes, you can. Tell your friends to move their ship out. Where are the Corians? I need to see the faces. You can't turn people away. Yes, we can. You know, if that ship doesn't clear out, the dock's authorized to fire. We'll follow through with the situation forces. Excuse me. What was your name again? Uh, Dick Carr. Christophe Vasser. Good to meet you. How long have you been here? I don't know. I'm, I'm not in the... I don't know how long it was since I escaped Lyon. Do you know Lyon? No. Let's see what's up here. I'm not seeing a single quarian. Hey, look, Bimo. Those eyes look weird. Bimo Turian. Oh, I need to see a quarry and damn it. <laughs> That's all I need to see to see if my mod works. Let's check on those Metagel supplies. Huh? Yes, sir. And have we heard anything from the hospital? The surgeons there are all busy. Keep on it. Some of these wounded don't have much time. Shepard. What's happening? We convinced the Council to accept our wounded. Nowhere else to go. How bad is it? More dead than injured. 85% killed in action. We'll need a morgue soon. Not a lot of flesh wounds when you're fighting Reapers. But the Reapers aren't real, right? Everybody says this in the news. Casualties are that high? Our frontline units are being wiped out, whole platoons at a time. A single Reaper can destroy nine or ten of them in one attack. That's not war, it's slaughter. They're called Reapers for a reason. And these guys found out why. Can we patch them up? Get them back into the fight? Maybe a few, though it'd be pretty much a death sentence. We're all facing a death sentence. Better a soldier goes down fighting than waited out here. A lot of them would agree. But my people are running low on guns, ammo, transports. We have to ration it out to the troops who are still healthy. Any sign of your family? Not yet, but I keep hoping. What about you? I'm starting to see some wear and tear. It's nothing I can't handle. I don't doubt it, but remember to come up for air. There's a lot more war to go. Where are Korean faces? And who the hell are you? Is that me? Yeah. You are looking at the model 1.7 AGB, Commander Shepard. Please That's see a store clerk to unlock a demo of this model. Um, Shota in this VI. You have a copy of a Shepard VI? Oh yeah, the one based on that war hero? We locked it after some kid spilled soda over the hardware. I'll unlock it, but we've only got the demo version working. Good to meet you. I'm Commander Shepard, Alliance Navy. Right next to Garrus. He loves it. Extranet says you're Alliance military. Take care of yourself out there, officer. There's nothing this galaxy can't beat if we all work together. He did beat it, defeat it, where the Quarians. Then contact Commander Bailey over at CSEC. Tell him Garrus Vicarian would consider it a personal favor if he could reallocate the shipment so these people don't starve. There you go. Oh, Kelly Chambers. I remember that name. Yeoman Kelly Chambers. Shepard, it's really you. I could just hug you. 
No. How have you been? <sighs> I've been so worried. Without my Cerberus contacts, I had no way of knowing if you'd survived the invasion. I mean, she was part of our crew, right? That's the girl we never talked to. You're not with Cerberus anymore? Working with you opened my eyes, got me thinking. I looked closely at what Cerberus had done. In good conscience, I couldn't stay with them. You inspired me to leave. Ah, join the crew. Everybody's welcome aboard. Everybody female. Come back to the Normandy. Please believe me. <laughs> I want nothing more than to be with you again, but... I can't. Ever since the Collectors abducted us. I relive it every night. I see Joker running out. Then that cold hand pulls me back. They're above me. Around me. They stuff me into that coffin and... I'm relieved that they aren't touching me anymore. But then it's so small. You can't breathe. It seems like forever. I watched people melt. God. Hey. It's okay. Guess she's getting to talk. I just... Can't step back onto the Normandy. Yeah, you sound fine. Don't be. And even if I could, I shouldn't. I'm making a difference here. Mm -hmm. If there was ever a reason I studied psychology, it was to help people at a time like this. Oh, help yourself. <laughs> oh, change your identity. What's that about? Don't take chances with Cerberus. Change your look. Change your name. Get new identification. That takes time, and the people here need my help. Do it, Kelly. Okay, I will. If you think I should. I'm so glad you found me. Seeing you makes everything right again. Got you a mess. Oh, and your fish. Nobody was going to take care of them with you in custody, so I saved them. I'll send them back to you. Oh, I need to run. Please be careful. What? <laughs> uh, that doesn't sound good. That doesn't sound good at all. Oh, still no quarians. Still no quarians. Oh, look, Paterians. Oh, that's how a Paterian female looks like. And they got at least. Oops. Ah. The search for a quarry continues. Cut. Still, not a single quarry found. Oh, I don't know if he has something to say, but let's talk to him. The council. You saved their lives. And for what? Apologies that boil down to maybe later. If we don't figure out something, maybe later will be an epitaph on a mass grave of 11 billion. I know what I'm going to do. What are you going to do? Humanity has created some goodwill in the galaxy. Now we cash in our chips. I will get what funding I can, what materials I can, and spread the message. Help the humans, help yourselves. I'll Slogan. institute a draft in our colonies and order all civilian ships armed. Work on the Prothean device will be around the clock. Hmm. The slogan. Oh no, I heard the last person. I should go. I'll be here. The last person that's interesting to talk to. Next to Bailey. Here we have someone. Commander Shepard, John Dumbau, Special Tactics and Recon. I've got intel suggesting that high-level Hanar officials may be indoctrinated. That's a damning accusation. What have you got? Evidence of an Alliance Black Ops team raiding a Batarian research station. The Batarians were studying Reaper technology. The Batarians had Reaper technology? The Alliance raid turned into a massacre, and the humans ended up with nothing. Your people faked a power failure to hide the incident. The Batarians would have gone to war if they'd found out. But how does this implicate the Hanar? They maintained discreet grey market trade relationships with the Batarians and led the Alliance to the station. We suspect those Hanar operatives escaped with Batarian tech. If your reports on the Reapers are accurate, they could already be indoctrinated. What's your source on all this? It was an anonymous gift, but I believe it came from a thief named Kasumi Goto. I've been after her for years. Kasumi? You're hunting a thief? A master thief. Her intelligence and skill are almost Salarian. Mm. I'm sure she'd appreciate praise from the Spectre who's chasing her down. 
I only need her data. I admire her personally. And since she sent me this, I assume her feelings are mutual. What do you need me to do? The Hanar operative is now a diplomat on the Citadel. I don't have a public name, and the Hanar will go to ground if I make a formal inquiry. So we're hunting. I'm tracking suspicious transmissions to the Hanar homeworld. I could use your help. Let me see what I can dig up at the Spectre office. Thanks, Shepard. And for the record, not everyone doubted your concerns about the Reapers. I just hope we're not too late. Oh, got it. That's so miss here, isn't she? So, remember when you helped me get KG's gray box from Donovan Hawk? The one with information that could start a war. Information like an Alliance Black Ops raid on a Batarian research lab? I figured it wouldn't hurt to leak it now. Especially if there really is an indoctrinated jellyfish out there. Crazier than usual. If you don't mind me tagging along cloaked, maybe I can help you dig up some dirt on the Hanar. I'd appreciate it. Sadly, zero, zero mods for her. For Mass Effect 3, besides the ability to press. Should I still do stuff in here? Okay, naval. Shepard, Good. I'm checking security reports. Can you track the transfers coming from the Hanar Embassy? On it. Bao's got a good plan. Hanar are predictable. Anything suspicious in their terminal use should narrow down our list of suspects. So you approve him? Absolutely. He's a good specter. The galaxy needs more like him. And the fact that he's trying to arrest you? Well, nobody's perfect. <laughs> Blame the man, right? I'm still looking for a Korean. They are <laughs> just not here. Oh, look at those leaves. High quality. Me? Yes, I have spoken. I fully understand the situation. Of course I read through the names of the dead every day, but... Please! Please. A few more minutes of searching could mean a lifetime of peace. Someone in your family is MIA? My son Bilal. And bureaucratic compassion seems to be in short supply. I am Ambassador Dominic Osoba. My son's squad returned from their mission on Benning without him. I found them drinking, but they won't even look me in the eye. You don't. I can offer a bounty for any information. If Balao's alive, we want him home. If he's dead, then... then we can begin to mourn him. If I find anything, I'll let you know. Thank you. Either way, you will set my mind at ease. Aren't we right here? Bao, I have some possible hits. Got some strange money transfers on Balone, and Alun is sending a lot of data. Balone's clean. His money transfers are to support his mistress. Not sure about Alun. I'll pull his bio. I'll check Alun's personal records and pull his recent messages. Can I just note how odd it is for Ahanar to have a mistress? You know, if Bao catches up with you, I can grant you immunity. What, if I join up? Last time I did that, you wrote me into a suicide mission. I didn't say you had to join up. You were working your way around to it. Um. Yes, his squad did continue. Am I done here? Journal. Kite's nurse. Dr. Bison. Spinning evidence. Oh no, I'm not diplomat. Presidium emphasis. Presidium emphasis. Okay, that's where we go next, I guess. Welcome, Commander Shepard. Please select the destination. One moment, please. Cut. Me, me, me. Okay, Paula. I wouldn't go to the settled worlds. Larger colonies appear to be priority targets. If you're coming to the Citadel, do it soon. Certainly. Look me up. Business will keep me here for some time. I could have sworn we can talk to him and he's just monologuing. Call me when you have the information. Welcome to Kanala Exports. Chakram, there's so many guns down. I wouldn't even get away. Kanala Exports is a of them. Hey. Oh, to hire you. 
purchase, purchase. Is possible even during times of crisis. Never heard of that gun before. Let's just buy it. I will buy everything. We believe that a peaceful heart is a strong heart. We appreciate your visit. <laughs> Always prepared. Oh, Vina. Who's here normally? Liara, right? Still no Koreans. It's so insane that I can't find a single one. I don't think I can do this anymore. Is that? No. This is problematic. We must find a way to stabilize the heating units so the water temperature. There's a quest here. Nothing right now. Oh, that's why I cut. Because that's just help you. But you're really okay, you keeping this guy at work while there's a war on. Oh, uh, well, it's his job, right? Actually, I'm supposed to be welcome to Agor Munitions. Oh, Ooh. hello. Uh, yeah, I guess maybe our customer service specialists are always interested maybe. in purchasing new technology. Mind the other ten times you visited this week. Uh, yeah, sorry. I'll just uh, please thank you for shopping at Agor. Welcome to Cipertine okay, Armor. Okay, fast and so much claymore. Damn. There's so many guns here. Jesus. I'm gonna switch through as much as I can. As much as I can. Just buy everything since it's that cheap thanks to modding. Real spike. I don't even know what that is. No snap or rifles. Unless I still have time at the end. That's something for the future. Oh. Look who it is. Hey, Commander, check it out. Big news. The Blasto movie is breaking opening week records. There's also a big expose on Quasar tournaments, tips on how to make your apartment look bigger, and, oh, yeah, a big-ass Reaper invasion. These people have no idea. What are they saying about the invasion? They're pretty much ignoring the loss of the Batarian systems. Earth is mentioned, but there's, you know... Confusion. How are they confused? Some reports say the Reapers hit Earth hard. Others are saying humanity brought the attack on themselves. Ooh. And in the spirit of journalistic neutrality, they're reporting both sides. Sometimes I think this whole Citadel is a mistake. What do you mean? It's out here in the middle of nowhere. Defensible. Safe. Remember how everyone ignored the Geth threat until Saren's attack? Well, let's hope they listen this time. I don't know if we'll be able to save their asses again. Meanwhile, they ignore the unshackled AI walking around the Presidium. She run into any trouble? No, no, she's my mobility assistance mech. <laughs> Thanks to Vrolic Syndrome, I'm legally entitled to bring her everywhere. Finally getting some use out of those disability benefits. Uh -huh. I'm sure she appreciates getting out to see the sights. Ah, she's earned a little shore leave. <laughs> That's all? Okay, you keep staring. Oh, as you can do everything when you're disabled, even run around before the shirt. Good for you. Where's ED? Okay, human one. Uh, damn, so many cool guns. I want them all. Just buy discount. Let's just get stuff cool. Oh, yeah. Oh, now we're talking. Include rare technology upgrades Is that extra damage? Give me. No, I will, I will have good hunting time. My humping? My husband? Hello, Shepard. You look like you're gathering data. That is a safe assumption. Anything big and world-shaking? Man's inhumanity to man? Does objective reality exist? That kind of thing? I was running scenarios in my head to analyze Jeff's behavior. <laughs> I believe he has a strong affectionate attachment to me, but he has not stated it to anyone yet. Shepard, you have first-hand sexual experience. How do you know when someone is romantically invested? There are many magazines that give helpful lists. Maybe you should read them. I have. Their information is self-contradictory and assumes that the reader participates in Earth subcultures. 
Perhaps we could discuss how to provoke Jeff into an emotional commitment. That's not how to think of it. It's got to be natural. You need chemistry. I see. There are a number of pharmaceuticals I could inject to simulate the desired emotional state. Oh, God. No, I mean relax and do something you both like. Something simple. For example, you both like humor. Correct. I will see if there are comedic entertainment shows being presented on the Citadel. Scanning. Do you think he would like the man who hung himself? It appears to be about an amorous plastic surgeon. I'm gonna forbid the romance. Oh. No. Edie, have you considered that maybe if you need this much help, you're in over your head? Then you think I am unable to enter into a romantic relationship with him. God damn. I'm saying you weren't designed for every possibility. I see. You are probably correct. There is little precedent that humans and synthetics can maintain relationships as equals. I will no longer devote processing power to exploring the possibility. Thank you, Shepard. There you go. Sorry. Dude. Bro. Why would I want that? Oh my god. Uh, oh my god. Oh fucking too. I love that gun. Indra, that's a good sniper. For like the, the rifle. Business, Ooh, I have that, right? Mm, so much to buy. All goods have been marked down with our special wartime discount. Oh, that's the... Okay, Thank okay. Thank you for shopping at Casa Fabrication Weaponry. Okay. Shotguns, assault rifles, SMGs, pistols. Oh, can I get a test? I could have sworn there's something here that I need to do mission-wise. That's not Paris. The arrow down there. Yes, she is. Nimbus cluster. Okay, talk. Still working? One call leads to another, and here I was hoping I'd have time to enjoy the view. Oi. The last time I saw the Presidium, remember how it was all rubble after Sovereign attacked? I barely got to see the Presidium before half of it got crushed. And by the time they repaired it, it was time for the next invasion. Citadel hasn't seen the reality of this war yet. We should stock up on necessities while we can. Such as? Ezo, heavy arms, mercenary groups. We'll get the people. Take a moment for yourself now and then. I know, I know. But there's always just one more task or meeting. Speaking of which, talk to the Volus Barlavon. He'll point you to some mercenaries willing to join us. Ah, okay, I need to look around to see if I can find the terminal. Okasumi, if it is here. If it is here. Skip, and then Balavon talk again. Commander Shepard. It's been some time. Barlavon, in case you've forgotten. Financial advisor. And an acquaintance of Admiral Anderson. I admire the courage it took for him to stay and fight on your home world. Oh, you talk too slowly. Keep me on taps. Why do I get the feeling you knew about Anderson's choice before the Alliance did? The information trade is more important than ever. And you need assistance for your war. A sizable mercenary group is offering their services to anyone who can rescue them from Reaper-controlled territory. Evacuate them, and they'll join your army. Are you passing on the location of these mercs for free? Their leader's offering a handsome commission for their rescue. Everyone wins, Commander. Come see me once you've completed the extraction. I'll be in my office a while longer. The galactic market is in considerable flux. Rip. Oh, I need to look for that mission. Listen, I am a surgeon at Puerto Memorial on the Citadel. I found this Metagel formula and figured you could make good use of it. Where did you find this? Never mind, it doesn't matter. Yes, we can put this to good use. 
Thank you. You just punched a class fail. Punch it harder. <laughs> what Commander, an assassin. When I heard Earth was under attack, I tried to call. I never got through. Thane, good to see you staying in shape. My disease kills slowly. With enough care and a healthy lifestyle, it can be delayed for a few years. Of course, my allotted time has come and gone. Now I exercise because it pleases me. What are you doing here? Visiting a friend who got hurt protecting me. Ashley. The dark-haired human woman in intensive care. She will be starting physical therapy with my class soon. That's oh. her. If she means something to you, then I will help how I can. As long as she is here, consider her under my protection. I appreciate it, Thane. I am near the end of my life. It is a good time to be generous. Keppel Syndrome has put most of my other plans on hold. <laughs> oh, that's one person that probably will die on the ship if he would come with me. Oh. I'm back in the Normandy on an important mission. Sure could use you. I would not be as I was before. I need daily medical attention. And if I know you, you will want to fight the Reapers somehow. You need the best at your side. And I am not at mine. You don't have to wrestle down Krogan and break their necks. I'm sure we could find you lighter work. I am at peace with what I've done in my life, Shepard. There comes a time when one must rest from war and conflict. It is not your time, but it is mine. But the war is not resting, Vane. Do you know how much time you have left? I've been to several doctors. My favorite gave me three months to live. Nine months ago. It's freeing to find no requirements placed on me. No responsibilities. No fears. It is a good end to a life. Are you in a lot of pain? At times. The oxygen transfer proteins don't form correctly. Your human equivalent would be hemoglobin. As a result, my blood is low in oxygen. No matter how much I breathe in, I get tingling, numbness, and that is the best of it. As for my brain, I cannot track the damage. I just experience dizziness from time to time. Oh, that's all just small talk, sadly. I wish the best for you, Thane. And I for you. Do not grieve for me. I have good doctors. My son visits regularly. Perhaps we will keep up via the extranet now that you are free. Until we meet again, Shepard. My son never calls me. I see you not often enough. I have back pain. Oh, oh Mitchell. Commander Shepard, good to see you. Dr. Michelle, it's been a long time. You've come a long way from that small clinic down in the wards. Because of you, I don't know where I'd be if you hadn't dealt with Fist and his thugs. Now I met physician in the Presidium Clinic. You gave me this chance. I assume you're here about Lieutenant Commander Williams? How's Ashley doing? Very well. Her rate of recovery is amazing. I still want to keep her under observation, but she should be fit for duty soon. Keep up the good work, Doctor. You too, Commander. I don't like her accent. We were deployed to Tiptree. It's a small human colony. It's completely we were supposed to help us to call this place where the enemy was landing. Just President Squares died. Having a VI drive your body isn't life. Are Reaper husks alive? You did not just say that. <laughs> but it's the same thing, isn't it? He walks and makes noises just like they do. Fine. I guess I'm just surrounded by zombies. Thanks. Took her long enough to get the hint. Welcome to Serta. Oh, what? Yeah, yeah, that's needed, actually. Thank you for coming to Serta. How can we help you? Can't just sort man. Okay. Got cut, then we'll talk to Ashley. And let's go talk to Ashley. I'd like an answer, Lieutenant Commander. The galaxy has need of exceptional soldiers like you. No more than ever. I still need time. You'll have my answer soon, I promise. I look forward to it. Shepard? Oh, Dina. I got your email. 
Made your decision yet? On becoming a Spectre? Not yet. It's an honor and all. But I don't know. I need to think about it some more. It's a big decision. Smart to give it some thought. How are you doing? Good, considering. The nurse said you checked in on me earlier. Still out cold, I guess. We didn't have time to talk. I thought maybe if you were up for it. Yeah, I wasn't sure you wanted to. You were pretty clear on Mars about where things stood. What do you mean? You're not a part of Cerberus anymore. Case closed. Full stop. It's the truth. Okay. You cut all ties. I accept that. It's just that if you're giving me orders, I need to be able to count on you. <laughs> cut all ties except for Miranda and Edie. Oh yeah, I need to introduce you to Edie. Oh, trust yourself. You can't rely on anyone. Sounds harsh, but it's true. It comes down to doing what you think is right. And damn everyone else. I get that. Good. As a Spectre, that's rule number one. Okay, get some rest. You need anything at all, let me know. Shepard, wait. There's one more thing. I wasn't sure if I should mention it. What is it? I have family back on Earth. I, I haven't heard from them. It's making me crazy. But I know you're busy, Shepard. We can talk later. I've got time to talk. Her hand is glitching for the shirt. The shirt is part of a mod. So, oh my god. Okay, that's a lot to talk. We can't afford to be at each other's throats. If we plan on getting through this, we need to trust each other. I was trying to keep the family stuff to myself, to be professional. I don't know how you managed to keep it all together. I have my moments, believe me. You know, I'm glad to hear it. Have you heard anything about Earth? We have reports coming all the time on what's going on. Half are wild speculation, and half are probably too optimistic to be true. We have to believe that we can do something. When I thought you were dead, I lost hope. I'm telling you. But when you came back, I was ready to believe anything. I mean, maybe this problem can't be solved by some grunt shooting the boogeyman in the face. But if you think it might help, I'm game. That sounds more like the Ash I know. I mean, just ask Grunt. Maybe he's gonna get the boogeyman down. He's good for it, I swear. So, what's all this Lieutenant Commander business? Seems like the old Williams curse is losing its grip. Was sure I'd top out at Gunnery Chief. You've worked hard. You deserve it. I thought so too, until Eden Prime. Losing 212 was, well, <laughs> you know. It was the Reapers, Ash. You did the best you could and survived to help us. Just losing everyone under my command, it's, it's tough to face. I'll never forget any of them. Right now, we need you back on your feet. I'll be back. And first order of business is to shove their metal tentacles right up there. Uh, I mean, I'll fight with honor and courage, sir. Roger that, LC. Uh-huh. I didn't hear from you while I was a guest of the Alliance. I couldn't face you, even when Anderson requested my presence. It was difficult. It's okay. We're both professionals. We have more important things to worry about. You're right. I'm just restless laying here doing nothing. I came to visit. I'm the better man. I mean, I am a man. He's not. So I'm, by default, a better man. Oh, that makes sense, right? Who's back on Earth? Mom plus my three sisters. The youngest, Sarah, was away on her honeymoon. Married a military man, Thomas. He got called back in and she was stuck alone. She called me. It's been pretty tough. I imagine. I was... I told her to... Uh, I should get back. <laughs> Take care of yourself. Will do, Commander. A normal family talk, please. No more family talk. Well, bang, okay. I still haven't found what I was looking for. Maybe the next time I'm on the Citadel, I will find it. Ah, I'm still gonna go towards the party place. It's time. I maybe want to talk to Arya, but we're still gonna go there. We'll see, we'll see.
Let's see. Can finally find one quarian to talk to. The hell is that red stuff on her face? Makeup? Oh, look who it is. Not modded yet. That won't do. That won't do. Anybody else? One quarian, please. I see one bigger. The going gets tough, and my former engineers hit the bar. Shepard, you're alive. I told you, nothing can take down Shepard. We heard about the Reapers attacking Earth. Then Cerberus decides to screw you too. I can't believe we work for them. Not anymore. So you're not on the elusive band's payroll anymore? After the Alliance locked you up and impounded the Normandy, Cerberus recalled the whole crew. But we slept away. We were there for the Normandy. For you. Nor for them. And there was something creepy about those recall orders. Just didn't feel right. She's got good intuition. Cerberus helped us take down the Collectors. They served their purpose. And now it's time to pay them back, right in their daddy bags. Let us join you, Commander. We'll serve on whatever ship you fly. We want to help. Grab your gear. Normandy's docked at Bay D-24. Hey. You've got Normandy back? Fantastic. I missed her. Thank you, Commander. We'll see you on board. Good having y'all. Somewhere gotta be one Quarian. Oh my god, just one Quarian. No, no, I don't see them. Hey, Commander. Nice to see you down here in the dirt with us grunts. You don't think I like getting dirty? Oh, now, come on. I didn't mean anything by it, Commander. Uh-huh. What did you mean, then? You see those Marines over there? None of them officers, just soldiers fighting the war. Yeah? They've been buying me drinks all night. You know why? Same reason they got all quiet and serious when you walked in. You don't seem intimidated by me in the least. In fact, you could use a little more deference. <laughs> sure, but I've fought with you. I've seen you in action. Now, don't get me wrong, you're good. Probably one of the best. Probably. But I know you're human. Just like me. But not them? Nope. Hell, I still remember the day they made you the first human specter. I watched it on the vids, just like all of them. But to them, you're still larger than life. I mean, I'm not that human. I'm like a rebuilt clone or something like that. Maybe I should expect it. There aren't a hell of a lot of people who've done what I have. And now they get to meet you in the flesh. You should buy them around. It'll impress them. <laughs> Paragon options, nah. The Renegade is good. Nah. Let's not overdo it. <laughs> well, you could at least buy me around. I had a feeling you were working up to that. Yeah, and I have a feeling you're not gonna buy me one. You're right. You're right. Oh, that makes no sense. How is Paragon? I mean, as a person who doesn't drink alcohol, maybe I should understand. Not one single Quarian. Jesus Christ. Oh, get me out of here. Guess we could talk to Ari before we're gonna motor her. This sequest ain't gonna happen right now. Look safe though beforehand. Look safe. <sighs> okay. So you admit you and your thugs are here illegally? Yes, and it only took CSEC three weeks to figure it out. I don't care who you are. You're required to go through processing like all other refugees. Come with me. I don't think so. Shirk, get me the Asari counselor. Greetings, Arya. Is there something you need? I'm being asked to submit to immigration processing. Of course you are. Done. What else can I do for you? Nothing. Thank you. My pleasure. I think we're done here. Enjoy the show, Shepard? I guess there's one rule on the Citadel, huh? I guess so. I hate this place. So sickeningly uptight. Then why are you here? Cerberus stole Omega from me, 
the elusive man is now squarely at the top of my shit list. God, how big is Cerberus? Every second I've spent in this bureaucratic hellhole. How goddamn big is Cerberus taking down the Shadow Broker being all over the galaxy? It's like the breed humans over there. Uh, yeah. How did Cerberus defeat you? Deceit, distraction, and a big fucking army. They lured me away from Omega and ambushed me. I escaped, but Cerberus had already laid siege. By the time I could launch an assault, they were too entrenched. I'm gonna get a nice armor mod for her to recolor mid with more hexagons. Ah, there are two choices, black or white. I'm gonna stick with the white one. If it were me, I'd want revenge. Glad to see we think alike. I'll take Omega back, but I'll get to that. You're here because I have a proposition. I'm listening. The way I see it, if you don't defeat the Reapers, we're all dead. Won't matter where I'm sitting. It's in my interest to help you. What are you offering, Arya? On Omega, I kept the Blood Pack, Blue Suns, and Eclipse in check. Now they're running amok. Nobody wants that. Unite them under my rule, and you'll have a powerful and ruthless force for your war. I've laid the groundwork with all three groups. I just need you to close the deals. If they'll fight Reapers, I'll take them. Now that's a bottom line I can respect. Meet with Narl, my agent who's dealing with the Blood Pack. The Blue Sun's leader is incognito here on the Citadel. He'll be expecting you. And I already have a deal with Jonas Sedaris, the Eclipse leader. You just have to get your friend, Commander Bailey, to let her out of jail. You obviously don't know Bailey very well. Bailey respects you. Lean on him. I think a united force of professional mercs is worth it. Don't you? It's always a pleasure, Shepard. Let me know if you want to talk later. We're gonna do that another time. Another time. I still didn't find a single goddamn quarry and... Oh, the brass... I just have to gun it and hope that... Tali doesn't look like trash when I finally have her then fully modded and texture mods are installed. Because you can't go back to remod her afterwards. Oh no, that's not what we're gonna do now. We're gonna go back. And probably... Start doing texture modding soon. Commander, Admiral Hackett is available in the war room on VidCon. Oh yeah, I'll talk to him. Wait, already? No, it's not ready. We need to do a side quest for I'm pretty sure. I'm almost sure. Let's talk to Hacky. You see the feed from Palavin? It's brutal. I'm amazed the Turians are holding. The birds don't quit when things get ugly. I'll give them that. Did you just call them birds? Of how empty and silent it is in here. Lovely. Commander, have you retrieved the Primarch for your summit? Yes, what? sir. But the Asari are staying on the sidelines. Oh, come on. They'll regret That's... that. The Salarians will be... We'll we that. Posted. Hack it out. Guess it didn't get saved. Commander, something else you need? Okay, Nothing nope. Keep me posted. Hack it out. Hack it out. God damn. Guess it didn't get saved. What are you, War Terminal, Lines, Proofing Device, Exerberus? Okay, I need to texture mod. Best case scenario, that one mod. I've downloaded a current mod for pretty much all currents getting new faces, but I don't know if I want Tali with that face, so I'm just gonna download a different Tali face. Commander? Commander? Good. And let's switch outfits for the next video. So this one is over, damn it, I'm just walking into weird directions. Team status, nothing new here, we can switch through Chevik's armors. This one is the modded one, this one is the modded one. This one is the normal one, but I believe I got it in green. 
this looks good too. Let's stop with this one then. Psycho Pirans, those armors all look trash compared to the Ari armor. I don't think I need anything else here. We had this not yet. This looks super cool, but just for the next mission, this one. God. Sadly, Garrus doesn't have more. There's one guy releasing a lot of armors the last few weeks. So also, the problem is as soon as I start downloading uh, other texture mods, I can't install new armors. And I can't get rid of my legs, as you can see here. It's just not a thing. Nothing happening here. Pattern color. Nothing happening here. That's the Ankara armor from Mass Effect Andromeda. Briage. If I go through here, that's just setting the whole thing. Let's go with that. Pretag. That's the next one. Good. Good. Oh yeah, fish. And a hamster. And toilet. That almost glitched my game. That's not how reflection works, right? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, okay, peace, peace out.